The magnets at the National Mag Lab are all electromagnets, which means that they need electricity to run. Without the electricity, they don't work. You give them electricity and they work. And the more electricity goes into them, the stronger they get. So what I've got here are the materials you need to make an electromagnet at home. So what we know about electricity is that as electricity travels through material, it creates a magnetic field around it. So I'm taking this copper wire and wrapping it around this iron rod. At the end, I'll have concentrated the magnetic field inside the center of the coil, which is where the iron is. And since iron is ferromagnetic, we should be able to magnetize it and make a pretty strong electromagnet. Now, of course, we can't have an electromagnet without electricity, so I need to close this circuit by connecting my wire to the battery. If you look at the compass, as soon as I connect this to close the circuit, you're gonna see the compass will react to the magnetic field that's being created. And now I can take this electromagnet and attract as much as I want to it. If I disconnect the electricity, the electromagnet will still be temporarily magnetized and some of the paper clips will actually stay attracted to it until I demagnetize my electromagnet like this. 